This is Mrs. Gustafson again. We're going to be completing a page in our workbook. So go ahead and pause the video and make sure you have your workbook and a pencil and then join me again. Today in your workbook, I would like you to turn to page 51. Go ahead and pause the video and find it this page. All right, we're gonna work on page 51 together today. I'm going to work at my house and you're going to do it at your house at the same time. You will not need dice, but I need dice to do my work, all right? I'm going to have one dice represent numbers counting by tens. So this would represent 30. If I did it this way, it would represent 50. My other dice is gonna represent one. So this would be like two ones, or this would be six ones. I'm always going to roll for the tens place first. My first roll is a six. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Six. Six would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Then I'm going to roll for my ones. Ooh, I got a five for my ones. One, two, three, four, five. My number is 65. Go ahead and write that in your workbook. Pause right now if you need some time. 65. Now I'm going to go ahead and roll for tens again. I got a three, which represents 30. 10, 20, 30. I'm going to roll for ones. I got a three for ones. One, two, three. My number is 33. Your goal is to figure out how much is 65 plus 33. Go ahead and solve that problem now. Pause the video if you need more time. I'm wondering if you came up with the same answer as I did. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. I got 98. We're going to do the same thing again. But this time, when I roll the dice, I want you to go ahead and do the work before I do. My first number is three, so that represents 30. Go ahead and do that work. My next roll is six. That's the ones. Go ahead and do that work. Pause the video if you need more time to do 30 plus six. Did yours look like this? 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 30, 6. Okay, I'm going to show you the next two numbers. Again, I want you to try to do it on your own. Pause the video if you need more time. Ooh, a 1. That represents 10. My second roll is a four. Four ones. One ten plus four ones. Go ahead and complete your work. Pause the video if you need more time. Did you come up with this? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Go ahead and add those numbers together. 36 plus 14. You might want to consider doing what we did yesterday, where you think that this group of 6 plus this group of 4 can actually make a new 10. Pause the video if you need more time coming up with your answer.
Let's see if you got the same answer as I did. I'm going to count them up. Counting up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. In the middle of the sheet, they want you to do some comparing. The first answer we got was 98. The second answer we got was 50. I want you to use the symbols greater than, less than, or equals. Is 98 greater than 50? Is 98 less than 50? Or is 98 equal to 50? Go ahead and write the choice inside the circle. Pause the video if you need more time. Check to make sure that 98 is greater than 50. The alligator wants to eat the bigger number. His mouth is open toward 98. We're going to play the same game again at the bottom of our sheet. I'm going to go ahead and roll both dice at the same time. 5 tens plus one, one. Fifty-one. Please write fifty-one on the line and show the place value for fifty-one. Pause the video if you need more time. Hopefully you came up with fifty-one. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty-one. Gonna roll both dice again. Ooh, they're sliding all over the place. 54. Five tens plus four ones. Go ahead and write that down. Pause the video if you need more time. Make sure you show what it looks like with place value. 54, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4. At this time, I want you to figure out how much is 54, or 51 plus 54. Go ahead and pause the video and add them together. You could count your 10s and your 1s. All right, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. Miss oh, Gustafson. You might hear my daughter in the background. I just made a mistake. Did you see what I did? I started counting by tens and I was doing a great job, but then I switched and I counted by ones. I need to still count these by tens. Let me try it again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103, 101, 4, 105. Oh, some of you might have known this problem right away because you might have thought, I know 50 plus 50 equals 100. And I know 1 plus 4 equals 5. That would be another way of looking at this problem. We're going to do it one more time. I'm going to roll both dice at the same time. This time I ended up with 63. Go ahead and write that here. And show me the place value for 63. Pause the video if you need more time. 63 looks like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. Same thing. Ooh, four tens, two ones. Please write it. 
show me how you represent 42. Pause the video if you need more time. 42. 42. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. I'm going to add them together. I want you to do it also. Think 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61. Oh, Miss Gus is in. I need to try that again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. <gasps> Whoa. Look at those numbers. What a surprise. Down here, I need to use symbols to compare those two numbers. I think I know which one I'm going to choose. I'm putting 105 right here and 105 right here. Go ahead and choose which symbol goes in the middle. Check, did you get it right? I bet you chose the equal sign also. Thanks for learning with me. I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Bye, first graders.